All right. Draft number 11. Here we go. <sighs> Okay, that's the egg. I've been reading some threads about Ikoria Draft. A lot of people say that the best deck in the format are the really aggressive uh, red-white ones. Those are the ones I've never had luck with. The I mean, all the cycling-focused decks. I imagine it's because... I, I, uh, I, I'm probably not getting the mix of cards together correctly. Oh, I mean, this is a snap keep, right? I think Flourishing Fox is one of the build arounds for the red white cycling deck. Um, since I don't have much experience with it, I, I don't think I'll go for it. I'll do Pacifism. Oh, nice. I guess if we get this, we can prioritize more come into play dudes. Maybe? We'll see. Uh, too bad the mutate trigger can't go to the head. Yeah, I guess removal. Given what we've drafted so far, it looks like we're major white and red, minor black. I was thinking about getting the evolving wilds. Oh, yes, excellent. Just the right colors. But in the succeeding packs, we need to get start. We need to start getting some lower picks. This is the kind of format where you want to have you have, you want to make sure you have early drops. Oh wow! Two viewers. Hello. Welcome. Come on, chalk bag, holding up the packs. So far, we've drafted um, 
a decent amount of removal and a decent top uh, wait no mid to top end so some more early game cards would be good yeah Threaten? Threaten, I guess. Uh, let's see if solid footing works out. No, let's just get a gremlin. No, I don't like that gremlin. Our curve is really high. Oh, what? Did not lose. Eh. bad totally main deck of one okay we're not getting that I think we're already full up on removal. We could use more fire prophecies, but otherwise, need to start getting creatures. I'm not a fan of this unless we're the sacrifice deck. start getting twos and threes Ugh. also mana fixing aside from this crystal we're gonna need more Wow, three viewers. Must be the weekend. Oh man, oh man. How are you going so late? I can't use you. I totally hate draft this. Might have been better to get the, the thing, but... I, I hate this card, I don't want to play against it. Let's get some mana fixing. Yeah, this actually isn't doing much for us now. Wow, at least we are removal rich. What is 
Let's get this draft. Okay. Probably don't need that many cloud piercers. If our creature count is low, then Offspring's Revenge doesn't make sense, so we'll probably cut it. Oh boy. I mean, we do have a lot of twos. Most of them is removal. And cyclers. Uh, we can probably live without the tire tactics. We cannot meet the companion condition. That is definitely a three. We should smooth our draw some. The mysterious egg. It's our creature count 13. Given the uh, dual lands, I could live with just one basic swamp in the main. Yet another parcel beast. Wow, really? Do I even have humans? Yes, I do. One. A uh, flyer is a flyer. There's like two other creatures this Necro Panther could get. It's annoying.
How many cyclers do we have even? Three, four, five. So it's not a lot. Six. Six cyclers, I can probably live with sixteen lands. Two swamps. Yeah, okay. Okay, fourteen eleven isn't that bad. Okay, I'll live with this. Um, I have a couple of bombs, but um, uh, the curve isn't very good, I think. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is Ikoria Draft 11. Just gonna save a screenshot. Okay, let's see how well we do. some cycling action Oh, nice. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Go ahead and take my Necro Panther. That was a decoy. It doesn't do anything. I took my removal. That was mean. hesitant to cycle the serpent because I don't have a lot of creatures. I want to keep as many threats as possible. Uh, 
Alright, next turn we can play a Cloud Piercer. It's a weird card to main deck. It's not like he has cycling payoffs. Okay, we're going down to 12. Kind of dangerous. and scatter I feel like I would have kept that ambush in hand I'm my my life is low enough that the tempo matters. Nice. I'm going to lose to me not cycling this creature. Okay, so we have six. We have to keep around divine arrow. Otherwise, we'll die to this one. Uh, let's cycle. Hoping for nothing. Okay. That is just my bad. If I had draw if I had cycled the Lava Serpent earlier, I would have killed this with a Divine Arrow. Bad, bad play. Also, the mutate, the mutate to make your opponent sacrifice a creature is one of the better, is one of the best ones. Bad beats. Okay, this one is problematic. Okay, I'm definitely going to cycle the Lava Serpent this time. We still didn't draw any white. There you go. I I guess we'll run out um Necropanther first. I oh, know, let's run out the Liger. Okay. 
sure gain your life. Uh huh. Did this one. Uh, I want to cycle and then hopefully go into the fifth land. Then we can start. We can get going with snap decks. I only have one white. That's annoying. Uh -huh. Let's just go a bit wider. Nice. He has like an army of marshals. Alright, there's our second white and we'll play a raptor. Alright, here we go. Fun while it lasted. Oh, you are not an instant. I should have done this during the last turn. I'll do this. Let's 
Strike of the Mountain. We get to do this or the 4 4. Seven, eight. We can't cast both of these. Let him attack. I suppose. I don't like that Offspring's Revenge doesn't give me a choice. Anyway, I'm saving the Stinger for last since I can potentially bring him back if I'm able to mutate onto the Cloud Piercer again. Oh man, my draft deck is terrible. I have such low expectations for it now. He exiled my bomb. I couldn't even. He didn't even get a chance to meet his offspring.
Oh wow! That is also a bomb. Man, I might be going zero three on this one. <laughs> All right. Just you? We could remove this, but we need better solutions. Nice! Uh, five damage as you choose. Okay, uh... Well, it really is just this that we have to get rid of. This is the most urgent one because if he gets that online, we're dead. On the spot. Maybe I should be playing the Jeskai Crystal instead to facilitate the falter mode of this guy. All I need to do now is to draw into my pacifism. Man, he had such so many bombs. Block, block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think this can attack. Oh, he did not attack. Why? Did he realize I was going to lose the library death fight? Ah, he's going to do the double tap. Tap on my turn, then tap on his turn. Fair. No, he didn't do that. Wow! I I have like a blood curdle and a pacifism somewhere in there. You should never go red white in this format. It never turns out well.
I wonder if I should start tracking my win-loss ratio. Um, I used to have this background program to track my arena records, but I have to. Uh, I haven't reinstalled it after stuff happened with my OS. Supposedly, you can easily go in and draft if you have something like a 60 to 70 percent win rate. I'm probably not there. I'm probably closer to like 55 percent. At least we have a dude. Oh no, we can't cast the dude. Oh wow, I kept without red. What was I? What the hell was I thinking? Well, built. That's a terrible key. Miraculously, we are alive. Wow, is he color screwed? Display this frenzy draft. Of course, he has an essence cap. What kind of silly question is that? It doesn't mutate into anything bigger than an X4. Okay, he mutated into an X5. Girdle now. I mean, he's a six man. He might play like Greater Sandworm or Archipelago or something ridiculous like that next turn. All right. May I have a creature? What happened? No, convolute. 
Let's build up our momentum. Come on, dude. This block. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. It's the first time I've seen that one in action. Let's force through our damage. Watch him have a wilt. Oh, he did not have a wilt. I want my fifth land. Okay, I did not get my fifth land. Yet another great horn. So much permission. Divine Arrow sounds like it should be an um, some shonen anime super move. Take this! Divine Arrow! Wow! That's a lot of permission. Just stop it, huh? The 
Columbus has all the answers. I think I lose to a surprise archipelago right here. Or Right, sorcery. Wow. We had like two asset scatters, two convolutes. Why can't I click your graveyard? A neutralize. I'm going to get. Uh, get this one. Blocks. Die to a giant roof. Manage the win! Amazing. At least just once let me snowball with snapbacks. So that I can know how it feels. There's snap ducks, and here I am about to make a questionable keep again. Maybe I deserve to lose because of all my questionable keeps. On the other hand, he's blue red, so if I run out snap ducks on four and it resolves, I don't think he has a way to kill it. Okay, he's white, so he can probably kill it. No, not the cycling deck. Not again. Cycle card, get her two damage in. Miraculously, I haven't actually missed any land drops, have I?
Okay. Yours is the proper uh the prophecy of fire. Deal your five. Probably should have rumbling rock slided this one. Suddenly, he's the apex predator. Okay. Be down. Okay, rock slide here should be pretty safe. He's drawing all the lands. Swing for two. <coughs> I wish I had a way to give Snapdax trample. I think scatter. Some kind of pump, fire prophecy. Okay, fair. Could have killed snapbacks instead. If he shoots snapbacks, he loses out to the double strike. Chumpy chumps! Okay.
Life and cards about even. I am slightly on the head of I am slightly ahead on the board. Taking probably five on the back attack. Uh, three if we spend two of these. I'm wondering if it's worth it to use the Blood Curdle on the Tactician. He's probably relying on using it during our turn to cycle or to tap down. Nice. Alright, now he he'll attack with the Lynx. Sure. Deal your two. Now it's definitely worth using the blood curve though. All in. You'll die if you don't block, so you must block the tiger. Loot. Releasing to the flyer though. The game. Alright, managed to salvage two wins out of this. Finish the quest too. At X2, it's like every additional win is a blessing. Right, not bad. This is the card that goes really well with Offspring's Revenge.
but unfortunately it's overshadowed by just about any other X2 any other two drop nonsense you are stuck at three lands Let's do this Target non land permanent if it's a creature. Oh, okay. I'm getting aggroed out by those cats. I'm gonna lose to a blade banish here. Come on, let me untap, let me untap. Wow, I am going to lose to these cats. Amazing. My lack of low drops has led to my untimely denials. I actually have an out. If I draw snap that, I can mutate it in onto the offspring in the second half. Okay. Right, good game. Well, that was terrible. Never again with the red white. Okay, I actually want to do one more. I think I'll start the next one. What time is it? Okay, 5.30. Yeah, okay. It's the weekend. We got time. Didn't I already have this one? No, the, the other one was the egg. Mari the collector. Imagine if every card in my deck were a creature. That would be insane. I, I, I like this draft already. Oh, 
Why am I the tempted? I wonder how long I can keep up this pretense. No, we're going to break our. <laughs> we're about to break our vow of creatures only. If we do this, Omori becomes just a body. The alternative is to get the fertilin. Coincidentally, uh, looking at Twitter, Li Shi Chan just posted an hour ago that he did the pack one, pick one Omori. I don't know if he's stuck with if he's stuck with only creatures though. My picks so far are a rare three uncommons and a common. Well, who knows? Maybe as the packs go, we realize that Heartless Act is on the only non-creature we have. I guess not. <sighs> oh well, sorry, Mori. We cannot fulfill our vow. This would be a decent splash. Okay, there is nothing good for us here. I'm 
I'm not a fan of memory leaks. I'm not a fan of Mysterious Egg. What is that pangolin a three? Man, does it have a de does it even have the decency to be a two? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. War creatures. I would love for the next pack to have a um, Boneyard Lurker? Is that his name? This one might also do. No. Okay, I'm thinking either we get the rare, we're not going to be able to use that as companion. Get the rare or get back for more or get Farfinder. I haven't used Farfinder before, so let's get that. Uh, back for more. I haven't used it before, so let's get that. Dire tactics. Such removals. Uh, two, four vigilance for a green, green one. It's not bad. Not nice. I like horn bash. Uh, this is good for the late game. Yeah, horn bash is better. Whirlwind of Thought. What are you doing here, Narset? Shall we get the almighty Brushwag? Probably should have taken the 4-3. Yeah, I think we'll do Honey Mammoth. I kind of want to get a couple of those um, uh, Humble Naturalist. Are they common? Humble Naturalists. I think they're common. Haven't seen any. I'd also like some ram through. Okay, we don't need two of those. I'll get an assassin.
Huh, the fight here isn't optional. Uh, I don't think we need that much graveyard recursion. I have ones. I normally don't like ones. I'm not getting the wilt because I'm assuming I'm going to use the gem razor to destroy things. this it would be fine if I had like Lurus oh nice why do you have this different looking border We don't really need extras of these. We're actually not yet at 23. Flashing blue just for wingspan mentors. I don't want to get the trial. Song of Creation. Oh, there's our ram through. Yeah, I could I could live with this as part of our splash. I should be on the lookout for like uh, duels. Although we have two X fertilid, so that's actually plenty. Two X fertilid means I can probably live with like Two islands? Maybe three. Do we have a bunch of trampled units? Oh, nice. We can just get this one. That facilitates our splash nicely. What would we cut? Or I could get the proud wild bonder how many oops wait yep let's get this one We're gonna run out of time oh boy so many crap rares flying around oh let's get this one What do we cut? This one is kind of meh. I think I'll cut this one. Oh, nice. Now I have to cut something else. Probably honey mammoth.
that looks pretty good. We don't have a lot of ones or a lot of twos, but we have a bunch of threes. How many of my three? I have 16 creatures. Six are human. Okay. I guess we want more non-humans. Got the dark bargain. Alright, this Vigilance dude is basically the same as this one, except it doesn't gain us life, but it's slightly easier to cast, and it's a non-human for mutating purposes, so I might cut the Heat Bonder. We'll see, let's see if we get anything good in the last six picks. Or I could just cut the Commando. Nothing really of interest here. The thing about this format is there's a lot of bombs, but there's also a lot of cards that get a lot better on specific decks. Like if you have the low cost uh, black white humans deck with the anthems, the whisper squad gets real good. Alright, so five is way too much. I'll live with two. What happens if I put this here? Okay, then it tells me I have like... That's actually not too bad. We have six... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Six uh, silly cards we can't play. Let's just imagine what it's like. Uh, we, we just need to find six cards. We play this and this and this. That's three... Four, five, six... But we have a lot less removal and recursion, so no, I don't think so. You'll have you'll just be a four or five body. Okay, I'll take a screenshot of this. This is Ikoria draft number twelve. So I believe I only have one more of the Godzilla cosmetics missing. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Hopefully it will be better than the disaster that was draft number 11. I'm up to three viewers now. Amazing. It must be the weekend. All this traffic. I'm famous. I have a ruler. Okay, pretty good. Third land that turns on our Fertilid. And the Fertilid turns on all our other cards. There's Amori. Choose Lightning. 
to choose life link, I'll put a wall in there. Oh, nice. No blocks. No, don't target my fertility, that's mean. Okay. No blocks. I'm I'm okay just uh, exchanging Omori with the Hemophage creature. Nice. so badly well no we're quite behind on life Going to four. Oh, menace! Oh, man. Well, that was a terrible first outing. Is that game one? That was game one.
I like how did he kill my fertility three times? Only two. He had so much removal. I guess he deserved that win. Okay, not bad. We can show off our archipelago. Oh, it's the blue red deck. I actually want to burn this for more action. So, um, It's always fun to mutate onto a fertilin. Hello. I mean, what, what is he going to do? Use removal of the fertilin? Why didn't you cast loot tree? Want to get maximum value. Sorcery. Okay. No, oh, he might be able to kill my great horn if he has fire prophecy plus Lutri. Is your name Lutri? Lutri. Yes. The spell chaser. Year four.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Did he miss the onboard trick? Sorry, dude. Oh, my new quest is kill twenty five opponent creatures. That'll take a while. Hello, Liliana. Marky Moon. Okay, that's pretty good. We have the dead eye for our initial action. Hello! Marky Moon. Oh, he bought a Okay. Choose lifelink. Smart boy chose death touch. Fair. to be careful with that bastion of remembrance around. It basically sets a time limit for me to win. Your feather. Oh man, mistake. and we're at a pretty big disadvantage because of the bastion. It doesn't have lifelink, right? Okay, our plan is to tap him down with Archipelagor. This might be amazing. I 
be he has nothing. Do I get to win? Nice. I have guaranteed removal on my side. Pretty death touch. We outrace the Phoenix. best but we'll always have IV element huh? IV elemental is great with the mutate dudes because all those plus one plus one counters just pop the mutated creature like so we can actually go IV Elemental on 2, then Great Horn on 3, then Wingspan, etc, etc. I think I'll go for it. I mean, is he going to waste his removal on the 1-1? One, one? Evolve your wilds. They choose. They chose to invo include evolving wilds in this set instead of Terramorphic Expanse because it has better flavor combined with beauty. Ram through has to be one of the best green limited removal spells for a long time. One of the best limited green removal spells in a long time, I, I guess in. Oh nice. Next turn we can wingspan and even ram through if we need to. I just realized since I have a record of all my... Since I've been streaming... Since I've been streaming all my games, I can actually afford to go back and compute my actual win-loss ratio.
I mean, look at this. Green can do end of turn kill a creature. Like that. It's so difficult to be on the other end of this. Like, when you're behind on the board, and, like, if we only had, like, four to five lands, basically, putting up any sort of defense might take all of your mana, and then I just cancel out with, with a two-cost removal. Are you kidding me? Now he can't even jump with a uh, tiger. Kind of creature are you? It's a cat with the flying cap. Since the mentors can pump the. Oh no, he'll survive. Yeah, unless I get another lamb. If I get another lamb, he's not blocking at all. Show me your tricks. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh huh. Don't worry, Archipelago will be back for more. Might even get to fly. I suppose if I had one of these, it would be much easier to do the Omori deck. Looking for answers. There's a bunch of removal he could draw. Blade Banish, Blood Curdle, uh, that Gust of Wind, Bouncy thing. That deal damage equal to number of lands thing. He has so many colors! Oh, there you go, Rumbling Rock Slide. Unfortunately, Archipelago is back for more. Right, we're already doing better than the last draft. I could stop here. It's almost two hours. I'll keep going. Alright. Fear the almighty brush one. It's kind of more like a meme at this point. You know, if we get to the fourth land, it's gonna be amazing. Amazing!
Will you trade with the almighty brushwag? Okay, I'll get him back later. I don't like you, Otter. I want to deny the card draw. Nice, now my elemental has to go through a checkpoint. Well, the bushwag traded with this saber too, so I guess I traded my lowest quality feature for his. I don't know. No! I hate you. He's like, I'll draw cards anyway, you can't stop me. Fine, draw your cards. Did he have yet another tiger? Oh, he was trying to... Oh, he didn't stick to the restrictions because he didn't have this as companion. It's because of this checkpoint officer. You, sh you shoot away the legendary cap beast. Okay, the best part of this is we can mutate the archipelago onto here and then untap the archipelago. Land. Well, that's annoying. OK. 
Okay. Oh, right! The author! So annoying! X proof, okay. Now we will not attack. Now we will take a bunch of damage. I'm gonna lose to that parcel beast. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, we're dead either way. I can block this. Six. Yep, okay. I'll just mutate it away for fun. Stupid parcel beast. Someday I'll draft that deck with the parcel beast and the otter and the frost lynxes. We're not. Okay. We can use Forever Beast to basically kill anything with the sandworm there. We're hoping to get some small creature that we that we can migrate this great horn onto. Between Charge of the Forever Beast and Back for more, we're going to get a, a lot of great use out of the sandworm. Generals Enforcer. This guy looks like he would be a good character in like Game of Thrones. Okay, I guess he's the uh, black white humans that I hate that guy. Uh, I want to kill it. I want to kill it. Stupid 
Stupid parcel beast. Oh no, what I should have done is attacked and then ram through. Ah. Not paying attention. Now we can just play the dead eye. I like this attack because it looks like I just want to force it through three damage. I gave you one use of your parcel beast. Evil, evil parcel beast. Stupid S tier uncommon. At least we are way ahead on the board, even though we are way behind on cards. Thankfully, there's no wrath in this format, I think. The closest one is that other even wrath, so you can take out two of my guys. The other even wrath in black. Alright, we have two removal spells here. One of them is better than the other. It's back for more because it comes with the 7 7, but I can't cast it yet. I can safely trade this. Yeah, I don't care. What, do you have some trick? Alright, that's fair, but I'll keep an extra one of my creatures on the board. Also trample. Oh, I, did, I didn't mutate that great horn. Green removals in the set are great. survive with a ch any one chump blocker but then again I have a harvester all right do you have fog
fair. I should have just played it. Can't mutate it into either of these guys. Can't do nothing. We need the second blocker or a removal spell. We need Divine Arrow! Have done that during your turn. Right, we are what four and two. Okay, four and two is pretty good. I might as well finish this. We're only one loss away. I wonder if he's a Filipino. Uh, this is not too bad. Third land gives us everything we need. He mulliganed. He did the mulligan, so let's press that advantage. If we get stuck on two, we can cycle the crystal. Forever Beast gives us removal, etc. etc. Not bad. Alright, we're in business. We have nothing. Right, there's all the basics we need too. It's actually not unreasonable to cycle the crystal here, but I might as well ramp a little bit. We are not in a hurry. Okay, Sergeant. No, I will. Let's just press our card advantage. Yeah, okay. Mori. Okay, let him waste his removal on this dude. Oh, nice. Shooting a shoot face. Nope. 
nice. Might be in more trouble than I thought. We'll try to ambush him with the dead eye. He's going to attack, knowing he can create a token, thinking, oh, he missed the token. His Vaythorn is going to die if it blocks. He doesn't realize, well, he can think that I didn't think, okay, never mind. Okay, he's giving it vigilance. It's even better because it means my great horn will survive. We have vigilance. It's a free attack. Oh man. Okay, he did go for it. Oh, my dude also had Vigilance. Ugh, we're being terrible. Okay. I guess we have to do this now. Huh, nothing. Okay, am I just going to overwhelm him with my mutate triggers?
Wow, amazing. Right, we're officially breaking even on this draft. Well, I guess my win rate is definitely above 50% because... I mean, over the last three drafts so far, we're 5-2, 2-2, 7-2. I think the one before that was a 5-3. So the win rate is fairly good. I'm probably just not going infinite yet because I'm not playing that much. Alright. Keep 7. It's like I haven't encountered this card in the last uh, 10 drafts and now suddenly in this draft I encounter it twice. Now you have nothing. Poke you for three. Sure. Who knows, maybe he'll be back for more. Alright, ask for trouble. Okay. Then eat the mentor, got it. Oh, okay. He did not eat the mentor. Huh. I guess I'm giving him a two for one. Thank you. 
sure. Did you really need more lands? I bet he's gonna go all Space Godzilla on me. The worm! Yes, nine mana. He can space Godzilla. Oh, wow. Why didn't you just play him? Well, I, I guess that's technically better. I guess I'm going to take 8. Interaction. I mean, it's the same interaction as with the sandworm and everything. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is gonna be fun. Oh boy. Good game. Should I have done top down instead? No, it would be the same outcome. I lost the double space Godzilla. Oh well, fair. Okay, so at least today wasn't a total disaster. How do I check my cosmetics collection? I want to see how many of the... I want to confirm how many of the Space Godzilla things I've gotten. Card styles. Collected. Uh, Ikoria. Okay, that's 12. Am I just missing the buy a box one? Is that available from this promo? I don't know, but definitely that was my 12th draft. Alright. That's it. Uh, for today, I guess, I, I, I don't have time to do one more. Uh, thanks for watching, all you silent viewers out there. Next time, participate in the chat so it's a bit more interactive, you know. We can do a little give and take. Uh, oh, I'm pretty close to earning enough gold to pay for a gold draft again. Right? I'm not sure if I'll be drafting tomorrow. Sundays are kind of a rest day, so maybe we'll see if I draft either tomorrow or Monday. I'll export the stream to YouTube again later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!